So I don't have a museum background to begin with. I um, was working at sort of various internet startup companies, small web companies, uh, doing web development and application development for several years. I went to school and double majored in computer science and theater. So I have a double major. Uh, and that, I think, has really informed some of seeking this work out, where there's this very technical aspect to it and also a very creative component to it. Uh, and at the end of the day, it's a good left brain, right brain mix for me. So that's where I'm pretty fabulous. It's a, it's a very good community to work in. Um, well, we have, there's a historical split at the Walker that separates the internal IT department from the new media team. We do have a lot of sort of technical overlap. Um, our team at the moment is my boss, Robin Dowden, who project manages and does uh, grant proposals and really sort of connects us with the bigger institutional vision. And then myself and a developer I supervise, and we have a, a new, media, new media designer on our team as well, which is sort of, this is the first time we've had this lineup. We used to have two designers and just one developer, and now this is really a good fit for us. We kind of have the right people at the right time and the right allocation of resources. The work has really become much more about uh, development and less about the design. Either that or our designers just got faster <laughs> and we can get away with fewer of them, but there's definitely more development work to do. So that's where we're putting more of our, our resources and efforts. Well, we're, we're really lucky to have an in-house team. I think to have developers in-house who understand the domain that we're talking about, the data that we're dealing with, uh, the Walker has a, an incredibly strong design background, uh, primarily from our, our print publications program, but we also have matched that, I think, with our online component. And those, those teams, uh, especially this most recent project, have worked closer than ever before. And I think that was a really uh, sort of valuable back and forth where, I mean, what we've made is not a, a literal translation of a print publication but it's the most print-like thing we've done. So that was, I think that was a really nice, we found a good harmony there where sometimes it can feel like the print design just moves too slow and wants to be finished completely before we can start to build. The new media designer side of our team says, okay, we've got enough to start, <laughs> let's continue. Um, but it is, it's a question of allocating resources and we've been lucky enough to, to have a, a new media department for years that has been its own unit and recognized as, as an important piece of the museum rather than just contracting out every, every project that comes along. And it gives us that sort of ownership of the website that I would, other institutions certainly have, but by um, me knowing exactly which bit of code is driving the broken part of the website and you really are incentivized to fix it on a level that if it was an external developer and you had to find them, it, you may just let this bit of your website decay slowly. Um, so it is, it is as, as museums our size go, we have a very large web team. And that's the reason we were, I think, able to do a lot of the work that we've done. But I also think that's the way it needs to be. <laughs> and I hope more and more institutions will, will begin to recognize that and fund these teams. And, and I know it's, you're, taking, you're taking money from some other department that is doing equally good work, but part of what we're trying to sell, I think, with this, with this iteration of the website especially, is our, our reach. And we've always been able to do this with the web, but we were never doing it with the same kind of content. Our reach for these programmers whose departments we may eventually be rating for budget we're increasing their reach in many, uh, many ways that we couldn't do before. So it's, it's not as easy as I'm making it sound, but that's, we're on the right track. <laughs>